Good day, guys. I am Alaysa Marriott from GSPM from 11. So, for today, I'm going to discuss the arrow diagram of a relation. First, what is relation? So, relations in the real world, there are several situations that involve relationship between two sets. We often use the term relation to describe this relationship. When we speak of a relation mathematics, we refer to a well-defined relationship between two sets of numbers. In mathematics, a relation between two sets exists when there is a clear rule that defines the relationship from the members of one set called the domain to the members of other sets called the domain. So, relations also about in daily life. People are, people are related to each other in many ways as parents and children, teachers and students, employers and employees, and many others in business teams that are but, 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 but are related to their cost. And the amount paid is related to the number of things but. So a relation is a rule that relates values that from a set of values called the domain to the second set of values called the range. The elements of the domain can be ima imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule to this input to generate one or more output. So a relation is also a set of ordered pair X and Y. So the definition of a codomain is a part of function F. If F is defined as a triple X, Y, G, where X is called the domain of F, Y is the codomain, and G is crop. The set of all elements to form F, F of X, where X ranges over the elements of the domain X, is called the image of F. The term range is something ambiguous to use to refer to either codomain or imagine the function. So, first, what is arrow diagram for a function? So, functions as a di arrow diagram when the domain and codomain of a function are three sets, then one can represent the function by an arrow diagram. Remember that an arrow diagram represents a function if exactly one arrow must read each other, each element of the domain, and to point one element in the codomain. So, um, representation of relations. So, representing relations, an arrow diagram, something is to represent a relation. The diagram below shows the set of x is equal to 7, 8, 9, 10, and the set of y is equal to 15, 17, and 21. In this mapping, the members are related to... The members are related by the rule y is equal to 2x plus 1, where x are members of x. The arrows connect members of x to its corresponding member in y. The rule between the members of x and the member of y must hold for a possible first are that connected. So, um, the, the set of ordered pairs ng x, and the dito yung 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, pa sa set of y naman is hindi dito 15, 17, 19, and 21. So, paano natin malalaman if function siya? So, kapag 1 is 1, ang ang unique output niya. So, kapag 1 is 1 siya, that means it's a function ang isang value ng x at saka sa isang value ng y. One to one siya. Kulwari, yung sa x, the value of 7 is 15. So, isa lang yung value niya sa x. This is yung 15. So, that's what you call one to one. It means na siya ay function. So, the next is, which of the following mapping diagrams represent function? So, um, aaralin mo natin ito kung saan ba dito yung function or not. So, the first 
diagram is function for representing mapping diagram. So the first mapping diagram, signal not and our x values here the x values ay merong unique output. Ibig sabihin ay one to one lang siya. Like that. So, sa isang x value ay meron isang, merong isang y value. So, that is a function. Tatandaan natin na kapag, na kapag one is to one ang mapping diagram, that is a function. So, so the second one, the next ay meron tayong five and seven na input or x value 5 and 7 na x value na iisa ang output sa y value. So you can see guys the 5 and 7 na iisa sila na value which is itong 1. So then, isa lang ang output. Therefore, ang tawag naman natin dito is many to 1. Kapag many to 1, that is also a function. Katandaan natin, kapag 1 is to 1, also many of Many to one, that is a function. So, okay, the third, the third mapping diagram, which is here, meron tayong seven corresponds, siya la, for seven corresponds, siya sa dalawang y value, as you can see the seven, yeah, the set of x, meron siyang dalawang value sa y, which is the eleven, and 13. So, ang tawag naman natin dito ay 1 to many. So, kapag 1 to many, ay that is not a function. Katandaan so, yan. Ulitin ko lang, kapag 1 is to 1, that is a function. Many to 1, that is also a function. Kapag, if that is 1 to many, that is not a function. As you can see, the number 7, meron siyang, meron siyang dalawang value sa y. And then, the number 2 also, meron siyang dalawang value sa y. So, this is not a function. So, yes, function, function, not a function. So, next. So, another example, guys. So, as you can see, the first diagram, meron, sa value ng x, ay meron tayong 2, 4, and 6. So, Kasi kita nyo na 1 is to 1 lang siya dahil ang value ng 2 sa y ay iisa lang. Meron siya sa value ng 2 sa y is 2. Sa, sa x naman, 4 ang value ng sa y is 1. Sa so 6 naman is 3. So, this is a function. The next diagram, you can see the value of x has only 2, 8, and 9. So, the 7 is meron siyang dalawang value sa y. So, uh, meron siyang 17 and 18. Also, the 9, meron siyang 2 value. Um, 19 to 20. So, ang ibig sabihin nito is, this is not a function. Not a function. So, the last, so the value of x ay meron tayong 1, 4, 6, and 8. So, as you can see, this is many to one. Kasi, makikita nyo naman na yung value ng x dito is nag-uulit sa, sa y. Pero, nag-uulit yung value niya dito sa y, which is yung 1 and 8, meron siyang value ng i. So, naulit siya dito sa number of 1. So, this is many to one. So, ito rin 4 and 6. Dalawa, ang meron siya dito yung value is y, which is in 6. So, this is also a function because this is lagi natin tatandaan na kapag 1 is to 1, it's a function and many to 1 is a function. But, lagi natin tatandaan na kapag 1 is to many, it is not a function. So, so let's try to answer the question. So, determine whether it's a function or not a function. So, ayan. Meron tayo sa uh, set sa value na x, meron answer the question. So, this is I'm trying to answer the question, so determine whether it's function or not. So, as you can see, the value of x is meron tayong 1, 3, 5, and 7. So, dito man sa y, meron tayong 2, 4, and 6. So, guys, ang sinabi ko kanina, kapag many to 1, this is a function. Kasi nakikita nyo naman na nag-ulit yung value ng y dito. 
sa X. Pero, ang value ng X ay hindi siya nagdoble. So, many Y. So, what do you think, guys, ang sagot? Yeah, good job. This is a function. So, the other one, the, the last diagram is the value ng X ay meron tayong 1, 2, and 3. And sa value ng Y naman, meron tayong 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. So, ano sa tingin nyo to? Kasi nakita nyo naman yung value ng Y. Karo siya na 1 is too many. So, you can see the value of Y. Meron siyang dalawang value dito sa Y. This is yung 11 and 10. Also, the 2 meron siyang dalawang value sa Y. This is 10. And then, so this is, is one, one too many. So this is not a function for that, guys. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something again.